What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. And so, I'm gonna make your remake pharmacy. I forgot to put the photo in, god dang it's fine. Um, here it is. I think this is pretty solid. It's also mine, and I forgot to show the inside space, which is an oopsies, but it's fine. I'll make an interior for this, uh, whenever it happens, probably tomorrow or sometime. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like it. It's modern. That's all I really have to say. Uh, so, um, yeah, that being said, the old one will be out here in your vision in about three seconds. So, with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space need for this is a 36 by 29, and the materials we're needing, uh, um, to start off, are brick blocks, quartz bricks, I need more excuses to use these, oh, oops, these, they're great, that's a great block, uh, polished deep slate wall, I don't know why, I always get that in blackstone confused, uh, black stained glass pane, red stained glass pane, Light blue concrete. Whoa, that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, black stained glass. Dark oak doors. And we'll go red concrete. I'm going to do the entire build, including the roof, and then we'll do the letters. Why? Don't ask questions. Uh, starting between the phone, left hand corner, if you're 36 by 29, great cough, cough. If you want to count backward diagonally to the right by one, going back, you want to place 27 light blue concrete. Bring this back block right by five. And then you have a backward seven. Bring all that up with three additional rows of light blue concrete. I forgot to do anything related to actually knowing what I'm doing, so I, that's great. Hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part, except for the fact that I forgot to take any sort of an image at all. So we're kind of going to just hope I know what I'm doing, which I do. This isn't that complicated of a build. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> um, come back to the front and come to the uh, second block in and going right from this second block of light blue concrete. Want to place black stained glass block, two dark oak doors, and a black glass. Bring either black glass up by three and then bring each dark oak door up with two black glass. From this far right black glass here, go four diagonally to the right of the light blue concrete and then bring it up by three. I use light blue concrete and red concrete. I normally don't use these bright concretes, just to kind of give it more of a, I don't know, almost happy vibe. You know, ph pharmacy might not be the greatest place. Um, oh, I mean, it's useful. But, you know, I just wanted some more popping bright colors than normal. A little bit little bit more, I guess, medical-related colors, too, blue and red. I don't know, I didn't want to go with the bland uh, colors. I'm going to probably remake my dentist soon and do something like that as well. But I'll probably won't change the inside a, a ton. I'm not going to, like, copy a block for block, because it'll be different sized, obviously. But... Um, yeah, just for the record. From this uh, bottom right light blue concrete here, you want to go back diagonally to the right with a brick block, and then bring this brick block right by 27. I can't believe I knew that number. Uh, <laughs> going left to right, or I can't, I can't look at my pictures. Going left to right, or right to left on top of that, I don't think it matters. You want to place five quartz bricks. I'm almost positive. By the way, if you're seeing this part, then it is, um, it doesn't matter. Polish cheap say wall. Two black stained glass panes. Red stained glass pane. Two black stained glass panes. Polished deep slate wall. Four quartz bricks. Polished deep slate wall. Two black stained glass panes. Red stained glass pane. Two black stained glass panes. Polished deep slate wall, and then five quartz bricks. Like so. So, you want to copy that row two more times. However, when you get to the glass panes, you're going to want to basically make a cross shape. So, in this first row that you copy, you're going to want to do one black, three red, and then another black. And then the top row will just be the same as the bottom row. Um, you didn't see me screw up at all there. You didn't see me place the two panes. Uh, I wasn't talking about me, like, breaking and having to replace nine different things. That was a whole different story. Which, actually, I think was related to that, so it wasn't a whole different story. But, you know. Uh, this is just a little detail that I decided to add because I thought it would look nice. I wanted to have a little, like, kind of secret cross somewhere, although I couldn't figure out exactly where I could put it sneaky. So I was like, yes, in the middle of the window, perfect. And if you wanted to make it less noticeable, you could use, like, gray or light gray or something else. You could even use blue. I think blue would look cool. 
Red kind of pops a little bit more, which is what I was going for. So, come to the right side and you want to bring these, this, these, this entire one row of brick and three rows of quartz bricks back by 24 and left by 27. Let me rephrase that. You want to bring it back by 24 and then left by 27. So it should connect to the light blue concrete. Sorry, I worded that extremely stupidly. Um, or connect diagonally to the light blue concrete. I don't know why my wording just went out the window there. We won't ask. <laughs> I'm zoning out. I, I'm not. It's not even because I'm zoning out this time. Although it does happen sometimes. Okay, there's like four different ways we could approach this. I'm gonna approach this the one of the ways. So you want to. We're going to do this bisection. You want to bring each coarse brick, polished deep site wall, or glass pane up with a red concrete. <clears throat> Just a singular one to start. Well, we'll do this bisection. Oh, you need light gray concrete. You know what? It's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. As in, get rid of your dark oak door now and get out light gray concrete. I forgot that was the thing we needed. So once you have this, um, I think this is where it is. I just made a really big error, and I had to remove half the build, so I think we're in the spot. <laughs> um, you want to take the red concrete, and you want to bring it out on each side by one. This is a vital part that I kind of forgot. Um, actually, get away with just the front and the back. But we'll do this, I guess, side now at this point, because whatever. Don't do the left, though. Don't do the left. Now, at the front and the back row, you want to place... A full row of light gray concrete that is one short of the right side, and it'll end. It'll end there. It'll basically end in line with the end of the quartz bricks, and then connect that light gray concrete together at the right side. So it'll be one off the right. I kind of forgot that that was how that worked as well. So I we're just gonna do it that way. Uh, bring that light gray concrete up with two rows of light gray concrete, and then a row of red concrete. Um, yeah, that was a fun mistake. Basically, I forgot that the light gray concrete had to be pushed out of block. So, um, yeah, did I mess this up? I did mess this up. Hold on. How did I, like, instantly screw that up? It should be out, it should be on the edge row on the front and back. I didn't put it on the edge row. If you did that as well, or looked at my thing, I was like, hmm. And then, yeah, the row of red concrete. And when you do this row of red concrete, make it directly on top of the light gray concrete. And then at the right side, you're going to want to extend it an additional block as well, just so we have it lined up. It'll make it easier to have them both lined up, so we can just do them both at the same time. And not really have to worry about any differences. They're much better. <clears throat> now, you want to bring the four black stained glass blocks here, each up with a red concrete. Three black stained glass blocks, and then a red concrete. Bring each of those red concretes forward by one. Or forward by a row. And then on top of each light blue concrete, you want to place a red concrete. Three light blue concrete. A red concrete. And then a light blue concrete. So the light blue will stick up by one. Um, I kind of made this decision because I thought that it would look really weird if it didn't have it on the back. And also just make sure that you have it sort of right where it's like, you know, this. But, uh, yeah. It, look, it makes the front look better, too. But I just kind of did it because I thought that the back looked a little odd because of everything being so flat. Uh, but, yeah. And then, yeah, having it this way will actually be, it'll be a lot easier to do. And then, when you hit that top row of light blue concrete, this singular row here, you just want to bring across the top. Like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fill in the roof, and then we'll move on to these red concrete strips, and then we'll do the letters. Uh, so you have this kind of C light blue concrete, like the letter C. Uh, you want to basically fill it in to make it a big rectangle of light blue concrete instead. So I guess bring that left row right by five rows. Seems logical enough. Mm. 
Mm, pretty easy like that. Then you want to fill in the red concrete portion in with red concrete on that roof. Um, and then you can do under the light blue if you really want to, although it doesn't actually make a difference. And then, yeah, and then we'll just do the little red concrete parts, which, uh, it's easier this way. Yeah, God, why do I, like, hiccup or something? It's easier this way than what I originally had it because of, uh, yeah. Which is good. So I noticed. <laughs> that's... I'm gonna say that's never happened, although, like, if you never notice, you'll never know it happened. But I only noticed, it's like, wait, the letter should be flat with that, and it wasn't gonna be that way. So, it's infuriating. Only letter that isn't flat with anything, I think, is the P, because I think it's... Or it might be touching the light blue, because I know it's, um, at least above the glass. I, I know numbers enough to, like, know by looking at it, but... Yeah, I'll have to, like, think more. I don't know what to say, I mean... We're filling in our roof. Kinda boring. Not a ton to talk about. Other than the fact that we're almost done it, and then we're almost done the build, and then, uh, yeah. There you go. Now, what you want to do is you want to bring the red concrete out, the both rows of red concrete, out on the left, front, and back, not the right. The right we already did, kind of accidentally. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this little tutorial week, too. I'm assuming this is the tutorial week. I don't know. If it isn't, you'll have one coming up, um, for sure. I've been kind of crazily making these tutorials. It's been, like, last three days I've uploaded not a live stream. Uh, it's, I've recorded like five or six tutorials in those three days. It's been, um, a little bit crazy. <laughs> Normally I record one in a day. Max. So there you go. That is what it looks like. Now, I'm gonna leave this advice. Look at the two side by side. Figure out if you actually want the letters or not. You can go without the letters. I personally think it looks better without the letters. You have options to do banner letters, you have options to just make a big cross, or uh, not even a big one, just a small one would work. Uh, you have the option to do two block tall letters, which I was going to do, and then I was like, I just don't think it's worth it, because they look a little bit weirder. Um, what I would do if I did that is I'd do a three block tall P and then make all the others too, which I'll quickly probably show at the end. But yeah, you can clear inventory and get out smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz stairs, and smooth quartz slabs. And then what you want to do is you want to come to the front left-hand corner of red concrete. You want to count right by two and going up, place three smooth quartz blocks. Top block, right with an upside down slab. And place a stair right of that, facing right. Down with an upside down stair, facing right, and then left with the slab. One block out from that, place three blocks moving up. Oh my god, what is it? Is it supposed to be in line with the <laughs> I'm going to double check this before I screw up too bad. Okay, go to this. Uh, bring the middle block right with an upside down slab and then a block. Bring that block up and down by one. One block gap from the bottom of that place. Two blocks moving up. A stair facing left on top of that. Right with an upside down slab and then a stair facing right and then down with two blocks. Connect the middle blocks together with a slab. One block gap from the bottom of that place. Three blocks moving up. Right with an upside down slab and then a stair facing right. Down with an upside down stair facing right and then a block. Bring that upside down stair left with a slab. One block gap from the bottom of that place, three blocks moving up. Bring this block right with a slab. Down diagonally to the right of the block. Up diagonally to the right of the slab and then right with the block. And then bring your block down until it touches the red. One block gap from the bottom of that, two blocks moving up. Stair facing left. Right with an upside down slab. Right with a stair facing right. Down with two blocks. Connect the middle blocks together with a slab. One block gap from the bottom of that place, upside down, stair facing left. Up of the block, stair facing left, bring the top stair right with an upside down slab, bottom stair right with a normal slab. Two block out from the bottom of that place, two blocks moving up, place a slab, upside down slab left and right of that top block, and then bring you the upside down slab up of the block, like so. 
Now, I'm not going to show you the transition from 2 to 3, however, I will quickly do it uh, if you want to try to follow along. I don't feel like explaining more than the amount of letters that I have to. Um, that's kind of what that would look like. Um, I feel like it would just look too squished, although I am going to try it fully, because why not, right? That's how the R is, yeah. I honestly might make a tutorial on two block letters. Although the only thing is a lot of them don't actually work. Like, the P won't work. Well, I mean, it will. It just won't work nicely. Um... That's what the two block tall letters will look like. You can see, with the bigger words, it doesn't seem to work. Like, on the gas station, it works fine, in my opinion. Um, but I think with the amount of letters that are in pharmacy, it just kind of looks weird. And the build is almost built for the, um, three block tall letters. And then again, banner letters are an option. They just, I don't know how the center would work with that. Uh, so play around with what you think might look better or worse. I think it looks fine. Obviously, I do think it looks better without the letters, but you kind of do want the letters to an extent. So I don't think that it's a terrible thing to have them. Just, you know. But, um, yeah, what you done, ladies and gentlemen, that has your remake pharmacy complete. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, have you finished it? And I will see you in the next one. Peace.